first, arms out to that T, legs go under foot bar or over, and hold for three. Make sure your shoulders are not up against the shoulder rest. Glutes are holding the legs up, abs are holding the spine in together. Back in, press out, double heel stretch and presses. Nice and light now that we've taken the resistance down, keeping this as an active rest. Next one, we're gonna press our arms down aside our hips, legs out straight, double leg stretch hold, and half roll up. And then we're gonna do bicycle legs. Go ahead and press our arms forward, legs in tabletop, lift our head, neck, and shoulders, bicycle legs. Push into those straps. Make sure your shoulders don't elevate. Post your straps, come up to standing. Go ahead and grab some water if you need it. We're gonna stand facing back in a lunge position. I like to put one hand on and, oops, forgot, take it down to a red or a blue, one red or one blue and just do shoulder presses. Press that arm just straight. Use the carriage to lift you up and press back down. And up and down. Use your glute to help lift you up on the left for the back leg. Step forward and in, hands on, left hand closest to you, feet wide, and oblique rotation, pressing the carriage out, rotating the torso. Do your best to keep your hips stable. Try not to get closer to the back of the machine when you rotate, so try to prevent lateral spine flexion. Keep it strict rotation. Pivot back. Start with your hand on the frame and we'll do two times each side of the bat. Shoulder presses, arm presses, and then lower lifts. And straight leg lift and lowers of the torso and press. Make sure when you press and lower, keep your left shoulder organized. We don't want to push so far that we disassociate that shoulder. Lots of shoulder work, glutes, left glute, rear glute brings us up. Back to facing in, right hand on the opposite shoulder rest, and 